people around the world who are mourning the late British singer Liam Payne. A drug paraphernalia and a smash TV inside Payne's hotel room. Plus when these people are becoming famous and they're getting the money that they want, but when you have the dark side of fame, that suddenly becomes everyone else's fault. Now to the latest on the investigation into the death of One Direction star Liam Payne. A smash TV, drug paraphernalia, and an unfinished bottle of alcohol. Investigators just released shocking images of Liam Payne's hotel room, and it's raising many questions about the circumstances surrounding his death. Around 5 p.m. on October 16th, a couple of staff working at the Casa Sur Hotel in Argentina suddenly heard a loud sound in the interior courtyard. Just moments earlier, they had to force an unruly guest back into his room, and shockingly, it appeared that the sound originated from within this same room. By the time they got to the interior courtyard to check out what was happening, they were met with one of the most heartbreaking scenes of 2024. Lying on the floor lifeless was Liam Payne, a former member of One Direction, and the same customer that had thrown in the hotel into a massive frenzy just moments earlier. Officers responding to the scene had been informed about an aggressive man who may have been under the effects of drugs and alcohol. By the time they arrived, it was already too late. As news of Liam's death spread across the internet, many fans were left in shock since he didn't show any signs that something was wrong days prior. He was active on social media, attended concerts, and was even seen boarding the elevator earlier that day. He also seemed to have a happy life, at least on the outside. So what could have pushed such a man into taking his own life? Most importantly, was there any form of foul play in this story? To understand how Liam really died, we must go back to that room where he spent his final moments. White powder on the table, tin foil scattered all across the floor, and a room that looked like it had been hit by a hurricane. This was the scene that greeted officers as they walked into Liam Payne's room following his death. As fans all over the world continue mourning the musical icon, the Argentinian media Claren has released several photos that could help us piece together the story of how Liam died. One of the tables in the room was covered with tin foil on the surface, and nearby you can see the same white powder we talked about earlier, a lighter and a bunch of scorch marks on the wooden surface. Investigators also found several blackened drink can lids, which appeared to have been heated recently as well as a smash TV that looks like it was hit with a very heavy object. There was also an empty champagne flute nearby, along with drugs like clonazepam, used to control epilepsy, panic disorders, and involuntary muscle spasms. In the bathtub, the police found a burnt candle and even more aluminum foil, all of which were stained and had some burns. By all indications, it appears that he was taking some illegal substances just before his death. However, the full extent didn't come out until officials released the autopsy report. While the rest of the world was trying to come to terms with Liam's death, investigators in Argentina were trying to figure out how he actually died, since no one saw him jump or knew why he did it, and there are a lot of questions that still remain unanswered. However, according to the Argentinian Public Prosecutor's Office, the singer died of multiple traumas and internal and external bleeding. The preliminary report, released on October 17th, stated that he sustained fatal injuries after falling from a balcony of the third floor hotel room in Buenos Aires. 25 injuries in total, which instantly led to his death. But then, a lot of people found it hard to believe that he would just jump on his own, and it didn't take long for theories to start circulating all over social media. Look at this interviewer questioning 1D and Liam Payne's reaction to the mention of Diddy. Liam Payne would have been a key witness to the P. Diddy trial set to take place in 2025. Because of the nature of his death, a lot of people started speculating that there must have been foul play involved. However, the autopsy found no signs of a fight or struggle. It was also confirmed that Liam was alone in the room at the time of his death. The most disturbing part was that Liam didn't actually try to save himself while he was falling. You see, typically when people fall from a very high spot, they would usually brace for impact, extending their arms by reflex to protect themselves from the fall. However, Liam's body showed no signs of resistance at all, which can mean two things. One, he really just wanted to fall and take his own life, or two, he was unconscious at the time. But how could he jump from a building while unconscious? Well, according to medical experts, he was actually switching between consciousness and unconsciousness, majorly because of the amount of drugs in his system. See, according to a more extensive autopsy report recently released, Liam's body was filled with a cocktail of drugs. ABC News and TMZ reported that a certain mixture of drugs, known as pink cocaine, containing ketamine, methamphetamine, and MDMA, was found in Liam's body. This was in addition to crack cocaine and benzodiazepine. However, none of these other drugs have held people's attention as much as the pink cocaine. 
This cocktail of drugs, also known as Tusi or Pink Wonder, gets its name from the food dye or strawberry flavoring usually added to the mixture. But as harmless as it may sound, it is extremely deadly. According to scientists, peak cocaine doesn't just stimulate the user, but it can also cause hallucinations. Past users of the drug have reported both euphoric and psychedelic experiences, where they had their sensory perceptions heightened above the normal level, while also experiencing serious mood swings. Experts also believe it's one of the easiest drugs to overdose on, and long-term use can also cause heart attacks, high blood pressure, increased risk of stroke, persistent anxiety, depression, and even psychosis. But was it the pink cocaine? alcohol, and other drugs that eventually push Liam over the edge. Experts seem to believe so. But why was he escorted to his hotel room that day? Why did the hotel staff call the police on him? Most importantly, why was his room totally scattered and destroyed by the time the police arrived? A lovely day here in Argentina. On the morning of October 16th of 2024, Liam Payne uploaded this video to his Snapchat. Hours later, he was dead. Liam first arrived in Argentina at the end of September to support Neil Horan, his former bandmate who was on his third album tour. Earlier on October 2nd, Liam was also spotted at Horan's show at the movie star arena in Buenos Aires, watching the performance with fans. And then, a 911 call. Hola, buenos días. Recién llamé que se me acordó. Llamo del Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. ¿Qué sucede en el lugar, señor? Eh, bueno, tenemos un huésped que está sobrepasado de droga y alcohol y cuando está, cuando está consciente eh, rompe, está rompiendo toda la habitación y bueno, necesitamos que manden a alguien, por favor. After Liam started acting up at the hotel, the manager decided to put the call across to police, stating that he was extremely high on drugs and alcohol and was breaking up the entire room. However, the manager never revealed the identity of the guest in question, and the police didn't even know it was Liam until they arrived to find his dead body. Cassidy, Liam's girlfriend, had left Argentina on October 12th, stating in a TikTok video that she just needed to go home. I love South America, but I hate staying in one place for too long. We were supposed to be there for like five days, turned into two weeks, and I was just like, I need to go home. Of course. Two days after she left, Liam then posted several videos on social media, including one where he jokingly called Cassidy a loser for leaving him in Argentina. Unfortunately, he died that same day. Another picture circulating on social media appears to show Liam wearing a white sleeveless top right before he took the elevator up to his room. This was the last time he was ever seen alive, but while fans around the world continue to mourn the 31-year-old pop star, there have also been a couple of conspiracy theories concerning his death, with many claiming that he probably had something to do with Diddy. Almost every celebrity in Hollywood has been linked to Diddy, but Liam Payne seems like the last person you expect to get wrapped up in this kind of controversy. However, after news of his death began circulating online, a viral clip from years ago also mysteriously surfaced. I had that with P. Diddy. I went over to say hello to P. Diddy and Jay-Z was there and um, Leonardo DiCaprio was sat at the Oh, I side. think you've dropped enough names! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think people... Back in 2017, Liam appeared as a guest on The Graham Norton Show, where he talked about meeting Diddy, Jay-Z, and Leonardo DiCaprio at a party, describing the event as the most daunting celebrity experience he had ever had. I saw him in Get Him To The Greek, I'm gonna go over there and say hello to him, so I thought, P. Diddy. So I went out to shake his hand, and I shook his hand, and he just, I was oh, nice to meet you, and he's going, huh, 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 it didn't take long for the video to go viral all over Twitter and other social media platforms, and people began speculating that Diddy, maybe even Jay-Z, must have had something to do with his death. Everyone tries to stop him, and now he dies mysteriously? Connect the dots. However, that's not the only controversy surrounding Liam's death. Days before Liam's death, the pop star found himself in the middle of a huge scandal that could have possibly ended his career, this time involving his ex fiance Maya Henry. It all started with a TikTok posted by Maya on the 6th of October, calling Liam out for several reasons. Oh, talking shit about your bandmates and then showing up to their concerts, but it's always for your own benefit. It's not even because you actually just want to go support. You want to go stand up there and like take the attention away from everyone. And you're standing there. According to her, Liam became obsessed with her after they broke up, blowing up her phone and even calling her with different phone numbers. She also claimed that Liam would create several new iCloud accounts to message her, send her emails, and even blow up her mom's phone. In addition, she also claimed that Leon would weaponize his fan base against her, sending hate and harassment her way. Earlier on May 14th, Maya released a fictional book titled Looking Forward, 
which she claimed was inspired by true events, and follows the story of a woman who found herself in the arms of a narcissistic celebrity. Coincidence? Maybe not. Liam and Maya began dating back in 2019, and would later get engaged the following year. The relationship went south in 2021, before they decided to try one more time in 2022, and finally broke up in May of that same year. With these new revelations and other disturbing allegations against Liam, people have been trying to figure out if it has anything to do with his death. Could all these have contributed to his mental health problems? Was he running away from something? Or was his death just an unfortunate accident? Honestly, we may never know.